Hello everyone. I want to wish you first of all a happy new year uh, since this is my first uh, video blog for 2016. Physician assisted dying has been a topic of great interest for family doctors since the Supreme Court of Canada struck down a law banning assisted death on February 6, 2015. That ruling gave the government one year to hammer out legislation. In January of this year, a four month extension was granted for this process. The CFPC supports this extension for the time required to develop regulations that are applicable on a pan-Canadian basis. We know we have a lot to learn from Quebec, where a law has been in effect since December 2015. I know this is an area of concern for family physicians and what it all means for you and your patients. So I want to give you an update on CFPC's efforts to help you navigate this new area of care. First. The college has produced a guide for reflection on ethical issues concerning assisted suicide and voluntary euthanasia. This document addresses key questions family doctors have and ethical issues around assisted dying. It also provides guidance on how to discuss this sensitive topic with your patients. Second, the Canadian Medical Association has just released its own principles-based recommendations for a Canadian approach to assisted dying. This impressive undertaking provides explicit recommendations to help guide the implementation of physician-assisted dying in Canada. I commend the CMA for their quality work. The CFPC is collaborating with the CMA, the Royal College, and the Federation of Medical Regulatory Authorities of Canada to ensure the guidance we provide to physicians across the country is aligned and consistent. The CFPC will also assess whether any changes are required in family medicine training programs to reflect this new reality. As this area of care develops, we will have much to discuss as a profession. So I invite you to share what's on your mind or a reflection of comments from your colleagues or patients. Please feel free to post a comment here or send me an email or a tweet. I look forward to hearing from you.